what's up everybody this is Viper FPV here and um, here with another video showing you guys the Lumineer Alpha all-in-one flight controller PDB and ESC all-in-one um, pretty much what we're gonna be doing today is wiring up the Unify TBS Unify Pro and also the Crossfire receiver um, we actually are going to be doing something a little special today um, as you notice this flight controller actually has the um, USB in the front here um, so I actually switched it to the side so actually in the next video after this we're actually going to reprogram in CLI how to reassign the motors because now since I switched over motor one is technically here as now it's here um, so I want to be showing you how to reassign that also um, if you also notice too we only had one technical available UART especially for Crossfire. So I want to use Smart Audio. So I'm actually going to be using the LED pin right here. Um, and I already pre-soldered that, so you should see a little solder right there. And we're going to actually need to use that um, port right there, and I want to remap the UART to that part right there. Um, so it's pretty simple just getting the Unify soldered on here. I'm not going to show you how to solder it. Um, I figure everybody knows how to solder these days. Um, and it's plus of, there's tons of solder videos on YouTube. Um, so pretty much what we're going to be doing, this right here, this yellow wire from the Unify, um, this is the video out. Uh, this is coming from the camera will come in, and then it'll go to the, the OSD on the chip, and then it'll come out this right here to the Unify, so they transmit it to your goggles. Um, the video out on this board is right, you see VO right there? So we're going to be soldering this yellow wire right there, and then the white wire, that is your smart audio wire, and we're going to be soldering that to the LED pin right here. Um, after I'm done with that, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get my harness here for the um, crossfire receiver, and we're going to be soldering those. Now, the crossfire is interesting because you actually um, solder the receive side to the crossfire um, to the transmit side because it's actually transmitting and it's receiving. That's how it thinks. And then on the transmit side on the crossfire, we're going to be soldering that to the receive side and vice versa. Um, and then the power, I mean, any 5 volt and ground will do on this board. I mean, there's some... I'm probably going to be using um, the ones right here for the original receiver when you use SBUS, but I want to use a Crossfire protocol. So I want to be soldering 5 volts here to the power, and then I want to be using the um, ground right here, and then I'm going to be using the transmit, transmit right here, the end one, and then the receive right here. Um, so once I get these all soldered up, I'm going to show you what the finished product looks like. What's up guys, I'm back, and as you see, I soldered up all my wires here. Um, so, I mean, these soldering pads are really tiny. They're, if you're not skilled at soldering, you might have a little bit of difficulty getting these little tiny solders on here. I'm kind of zoom in here for you guys. <clears throat> so, I mean, it's not perfect, but it's going to do. I mean, so... Pretty much you see here, I have the, the 5 volt and then the ground on the, uh, on the crossfire. And then I have the receive and the uh, transmit on the UART here, on UART 6. Um, <clears throat> but uh, pretty much, I mean coming together pretty nice um so if you like the video like it uh subscribe if you haven't subscribed and um look forward to the next video where i'm going to show you how to remap the motors on cli and beta flight and i'll also will show you guys how to um move that uart uh to the led pin so we can use as a uart instead of uh dealing with this s bus that has an inverter on it it'd be easier just to do this um, but again, like, subscribe, and um, comment if you have anything you need, any questions you need to ask. See ya.